This town is not big enough for the two of us, amigo. If you want to eat, eat. Don't talk. You guessed it right. I'm in Mexico City. Ay, caramba! Mexico City streets has to offer not a hundred, not a thousand, not a hundred thousand, but half a million different food stands. That is a lot! The Mexican kitchen is versatile with intense flavors, colorful dishes, and many, many spices. It is a unique kitchen that originated in ancient traditions all the way back from the Maya people and up to the Spanish occupation. Avocado, beans, and chili are the foundation stones of the Mexican cuisine but the most important ingredient is definitely the corn. I have 24 hours to enjoy the local food and find out once and for all how many different dishes can be prepared from corn. Excuse me, is this a tamal? Ah, uh, Carla Inglés. Do you speak English? Yes. Do you speak English? Yes. Oh, perfect. So, how is it done? This is a dough, corn uh -huh. dough, and it has a filling that they prepare. And then it's steamed? It's steamed in there for a Wrapped while. in the banana leaf. You said the key word. Tamali means to be wrapped. Okay. Could I make one? Junto con usted. All right. Thank you. So La va a copiar. I take okay? a banana leaf. Wow, look at these leaves. Look at these leaves. This like is that. a dough. It's made out of corn. Why is it corn dough? Why not regular dough? Corn is very important for Mexico. Since the natives uh, pre Hispanic times, uh, there is a myth that the man the, came from corn. That the man came from corn. Of course, everyone knows that. Did you come from a corn? <laughs> <laughs> no? All right, so, and now what's the next step? And so then you, you choose put a filling. filling. This is mushrooms. Okay. This is a zucchini with beans mm. or sauce. I'll go with a zucchini and beans. Now the wrapping. Wait, why is mine, why is yours so nice and straight? Mine's on. You have to turn it around. Oh. Aha! That looks better. <laughs> all right. Oh no! But be careful, it's raking. <laughs> you can do this and oh, all right. I'll just tie a bow. I'll just turn. <laughs> <laughs> there! Nobody will notice. So now it goes into the steamer, right? Yes. And two hours later, so now it's ready to eat, right? Yes, but do, we do first we... have to drink something. All right. Is this so a... this is a sweet uh, masa tole. Masa then tole. It's made it with the dough. And this one is chile atole. It has chile. This yes. is a corn dough universe where everything is made out of dough. I'll go for the sweet. No, not so. Can I sit here? Gracias. Mexicanos, breakfastizos. All right, so I'm going to have traditional corn breakfast in Mexico City. Huh? How do you say buen appetit? Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Buen? Si? Provecho. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Buen Buen pro pecho, bren buen por pecho, bren por pecho. Okay, here we go. This is definitely a buenos dias.
I'm in San Juan Market going to meet my friend, the culinary guide, Ruth Allegria, and she promised me that I'm going to eat like the true natives. I can't wait. Ruth! Hello, Ruth. Ooh. Hi. Hola. Hola. What are we doing in a tortilla stand? You usually have me eating all these weird stuff. This is the plate, the napkin, uh -huh. and the spoon of Mexico. Ah, very nice. The plate, the napkin, and the spoon. Tortillas are the basis for the Mexican meal, but it's also the Mexican diet. Could I try one? Just a little salt, and it's warm from That's the nice. oven. But now we have to find something to put into it. All right, lead the way then. We're off to fill our tortilla. I mean, up till now, this all looks very, you know, sane. Things people usually eat. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, vegetables, fruits. So, so what do we have here, then? This man specializes in insects. OK. Which, of course, was a, a main food component. This was the main diet of pre-Hispanic Mexico. There were no farm animals. All right. No cows, no chickens, no pork. So, so what is, oh, these are worms. No, they're not. Are, no, they're not worms. No, they're not worms. Well, this is a gusano de maguey, and the maguey is the plant from which you make tequila and mezcal. Yes. So that can't be a bad thing. No, tequila there you is go. a very nice thing. It's actually butterfly larva. Well, you can have any of these things as a taco. And you see we have a nice little sauce. I'm going to just give you a tiny bit, because uh -huh. I don't know how hot you like them. Do you want one? No. Come on. <laughs> Be my guest. Yeah, have one. <laughs> no? Nobody wants it. Do you like this? <laughs> you don't like it? Okay, I'm a real chilango now eating a butterfly tacos. Here we go. Cheers. Yes. It won't hurt. What do you think? It, it, well, it just it tastes like your standard worm, you know? No. Yes, well... <laughs> hello, hello. Hola, hola, hello. Nice stuff, right? One of the city's residents' favorite hangout is to take a walk in uh, Xochimilco Park. Now, this whole area used to be a huge lake, but then the natives built some islands in it more than a thousand years ago, and they still exist until this very day. But the best fun here is to choose yourself a trajinera, which is a boat, and then just wait for the floating food stands to come to you. Okay, cop one. Who wants pulque? Do you want some pulque? Pulque. All right, pulque? Pulque, pulque. All right, pulque, please. So now I'm not only a street food man, I'm also a boat food man. What kind of drink is it? Here you go. Cactus. It's yeah. a cactus. Yeah. The Aztecs called him the drink of the gods. The drink of the gods. Yeah. So for how long has this been going on? I mean, the boats and, and the food coming up and, and the drinks. Yeah, it's a thousand years ago. It's, it's a drink, pre-Hispanic drink. Well, this is actually quite exciting. I'm having my first pre-Hispanic drink, and it's my first cactus drink as well, and I'm on a pre-Hispanic boat. Um, so, I mean, let's drink to that. Salud! 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 Mmm! Okay. Got you! Oh. Hey, buenos dias! Some food! Yeah. How surprising! Some corn! Let's try some! Okay. What Elotes. is this called? Elote. Elote. So once again we have here corn. And with what else? epazote. With epazote, which is uh -huh. a herb. And mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. Yeah, and cheese. And cheese on top. So yeah. and, lime. and chili. And chili and lime. Alright. So one floating esquite down the hatch. Mmm. Wow. Do you like it? Man, very good. 
Wow, this is really. Este es el elote. My God. With mayo and cheese oh, and so chili. An Aztec corn popsicle. Mmm. Very good. Wow, this. I mean, this boat ride is full of surprises, <laughs> isn't it? You just float around. Food comes. Drink. Food. Wow, Ricardo, I want to thank you very much. This really is a magnificent experience, so thank you very much. Gracias. And just before Gracias. I leave, I want a picture with you. And we say, salute. Salute. Yeah. Yes. Okay, can I try? So this is good? This is good? Bien? Buena. Buena. This is, this is sonido, El sonido. Verde. I see. Verde. So this kind of has a flat sound to it. So in order to choose a good pineapple, what you need is a good sense of rhythm here. Okay, can you cut it for me? I'll see. Okay. What? My God! So we've got the Mexican pineapple Bruce Lee master here. He can decapitate a pineapple with only one punch. Daluta. Got a phone call, sorry. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's for you. Go. Go, Guerito. Well, I have to say, drumming on pineapples definitely works. It's sweet, it's juicy, and it sounds fantastic. Well, it's 12.46 and I have to admit, that I'm feeling like a little antijito, which means a small desire that starts to develop in your stomach and then threatens to burst if nothing's gonna be done about it. Now, in order to solve my problem, I'm going to meet my good friend, Chef Monica Pitino, which I'm sure she'll be able to soothe my craving. Monica, Monica. Yeah. How Very good, how are you? Bien, buenísimo. It's good to see you. This place is great. I yeah, mean, I've been yeah. here. Well, this is the heart of the Mexican market. We have this uh, before the Spanish. Uh, really? It was, yeah, and it continued because we are like a very traditional oh, uh, people. Good, huh? Wow, look at these know, chilies. These chili? I mean, by the look of them, you could tell that they're they are very really strong. spicy. Yeah. So that, this is called jalapeño. And this? So this is costeño, more in the south. Jalapeño, the coast. costeño. Exactly. This yeah. is dangerous. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's incredible because all this is concentrated, concentrado, the essence is here. This looks really dangerous, doesn't it? <laughs> so this is not too spicy. It's spicy. It is? It is, but should not I, too much. I taste no. It? No. <laughs> should I? No. No. Of you what? what? I don't know. Do but what's gonna happen? Uh, we will see. Ah. All right, I'm gonna well I'll try it. Okay, go. Okay, here we go. It's okay? Okay. It's okay. Maybe here it, it has no the, the veins. The veins come from here ah, okay. and they start to be hot and no, hot. I'm fair. It's a bit... You can start yes. feeling. And then... Uh, no, okay. Uh, okay. Don't do it. This is arbol, chili de arbol. This is very strong. Is it? Yeah. No. Okay, we, we can use this for make guacamole. But you start like now yes, being... It's, uh, it is a bit... More energetic. Of, yes. Energetic. Now I kind of feel <laughs> I want some Mexican music. Yeah, now okay. Can, we will find us. All right. Days. So where are we going then? Okay, now let's go inside because uh, I think since we are hungry, we have to uh -huh. eat something there. Of course. Food. Yeah. So, Quesadillas, we go there? So the food court is in there? Yeah. Let's All right. Go. Okay. We are go. going deep. Uh -huh. This little, this is very good. 
gracias. Sí, dame. You can taste it. It's a smoothie. It's fresh. So smooth yeah. and silky mm. and wonderful. How do you choose uh, the, the right ones? Okay, I show you. Take this one. So this is a good one? Yeah, it's hard, but it's not too hard. So but hard it, and soft. Yeah. Okay. For example, this. Uh huh. That it doesn't good. No, it's not good. Why it's not? Very, it's very soft, and then start have a flavor. No, in, uh, like a like rotten. Rotten. You say to put it in the face. Oh. Okay. Like, like like cream, you know. Oh. It's very good. What are you going to do that? I don't know. <laughs> you take this. Pero and what you, no, you put it on your face? Sí, que sí. A ver, como crema. Like that. <laughs> what? Am I beautiful now? No, after that. No, oh, now. Where, so when do I get beautiful then? Right You'll be beautiful uh, uh, this afternoon. Oh. I've got avocado on my hands, on my face, and I already can't <laughs> wait to taste the guacamole with the tacos, so, so let's go on. I'm... <laughs> but clean a little bit. Okay, I'll clean up. Because they're going to think we're crazy. Okay, no, that's no, all right. Not, not good. I won't embarrass you, I promise. Okay, I'll try. Okay, uh, this is chicken, this is mushroom, uh -huh. uh, this is uh, chili with egg. So we, right. which taco you prefer? There's, what's their best? Uh, or nopales, cactus also. Yeah, I'll go for that. But why do you think street food is so popular? Uh, because we don't have time to sit. Uh -huh. We don't have time to, to spend and the wine. Because and you have to, to do continue salsa moving. all the time. <laughs> yeah. So that's the cactus. That's the cactus. Oh, wow. And now she's going to put a little cheese inside. Guarache is a sandal. It's like a, it looks the like bottom a of the sandal. Oh, it's like now the sole have, of the sandal. And you can eat it like that, look. Like All right. Yeah. Uh, this is guarache because it's open. And quesadilla is closed. I see. Yeah, está. This is uh, with chicken. So this is a, a taco. It's confusing. But may, right. maybe if we eat, we have the experience and then we understand. Okay. Okay, let's so, go. We can sit here. All right. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Very good. Mm. You have to know how to eat. You have to start here and then here. All right. You so you really have to engineer yeah. it. Here. It's not as simple as it looks. You can't just eat away. You have to mm. Mm. engineer each bite, and you can give it another. And also, you can do like this. Yeah, this looks like More something elegant. else. You know, like. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> I got me a nice little. Okay. Uh, like this. <laughs> uh, listen, Monica. I want to thank you so much mm. for this tour. It was really brilliant. And uh, the hurach, uh, <laughs> guarache. Guarache no. is brilliant. Uh, okay. And it was fantastic seeing you again. No, no, no. It was a wonderful. The Japanese have taiyaki, the Americans have ketchup. And the Mexicans, they have mula sauce. I'm on my way to meet some friends that are going to explain to me what this sauce is all about. And they're going to do it in a diner that's been making traditional mula sauce for 50 years. Joven, buenas noches. ¿Me puede traer, por favor, cuatro platos de pollo con mole? Gracias. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, I'm starving. Join us. All right. Hungry. Yes, very hungry. Oh, thank you. You ordered for me already. Yes. How kind of you. So what is mole then? Mole is a, a sauce that is made with chocolate, yes, sesame, tomato, cinnamon, uh -huh. chiles. I mean, chocolate as a sauce, that's very odd, isn't it? Yes, but this is a very traditional dish. It comes from pre-Hispanic time, before the Spanish came to Mexico. Here we go. Chicken and chocolate sauce. <laughs> Silence in the restaurant. Everyone's quiet.
it. My God. It's really good. Wow, it's fantastic. Uh, the common people eat oh, this? Yes. Yeah. Sure. It's like fruit. It's a very common dish. Everybody would eat it. Mm -hmm. You can eat it uh, during breakfast, lunch, or dinner. What do you usually drink with when you eat this? We need something. We need tequila. Tequila! Sure, of course. Tequila. I've been here all day in Mexico and have not had a drop of tequila. No, no, no. You have to have tequila all right, right so now. Let's, okay. Okay. Um, Please. Garçon. It's tequila. All right, so, so what are we doing? Arriba, arriba, abajo, abajo, al centro, y para adentro. Garibaldi Square is the perfect place to win a Mexican girl's hearts. One serenade and she's yours. Only thing is, you have to choose the right mariachi. 